let's discuss a multiplication of three by three matrices. For example, example, you are asked to multiply. You are asked okay, we are asked to multiply this by this. This is the only thing I can tell you. Okay, pay attention, you are going to understand it. For a three by three matrix, all you need to do is this. You are going to multiply each row by column. Row by column. What do I mean by that? You know that if this is a matrix, for those of you that don't really know what a row and a column is, if this is a matrix 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1. Okay? Let me just clean one row. One column. Now, these are rows. These horizontal arrangements are rows. Do you understand? Like 2 and 3 is the first row. 1 and 1 is the second row. 2 and 0 is the third row. Now, when I talk of column, I talk of what? The vertical ones. So, 2, 1, 2 is the first column. 3, 1, 0 is the second column. So, if I should name this particular matrix, I would say that this matrix is what? 1, 2, 3. The rows, we have three rows here, right? So, it's a 3 by... How many columns do you have? 1, 2. A 3 by 2 matrix. So, this is how to name a matrix. A 3 by 2 matrix. So, as when we have 0, 1 here, and this is the matrix we have, okay? Now, if we want to name this matrix, how many rows does this matrix have? If you look at this thing, you notice that we have 1, 2. We have 2 rows. That is horizontal arrangement. We just have 2. So, 2 rows by how many columns? We have 3. 1, 2, 3. The vertical arrangement is 3 in number. So, we have three columns so it's a two by three matrix a two by three matrix do you understand so when i say a row multiplying a column a row is the horizontal arrangement a column is the vertical arrangement now let us go ahead and solve this so whenever you multiply one row and one column you are going to form just a single number when you multiply one row and one column, you form a single number. So what am I trying to say? This will be written as, if you open these brackets now. Now, this row, which is 2, 1, 4, is going to multiply this first column, 3, 2, 1. The first will multiply the first. The second will multiply the second. The third will multiply the third. And for the fact that when one row multiply one column, that we are forming a single number, whatever we are getting, we are going to be adding them together. Okay? See what I mean? So we are going to do first of all 2 times 3. So it's going to be 2 times 3, okay? Plus, because we are forming a single number, the first we multiply the first, the second we multiply the second. So it's going to be 1 times 2, dot 2, plus 4 times 1, 4 dot 1, okay? Notice that as I said, I'm adding everything because we are forming one single number. When this first row multiplies the first column, the first row, we also multiply the second column to form the second number. The first row, we also multiply the third column to form the third number, okay? So we have used the first row to multiply the first column. So we are forming the first number, a number, and that is why we are adding them together, okay? Now we are going to use the first row. We are not going to throw these ones away now. So we are going to use the first row to multiply the second column to form the second number here. Yeah, let's do that. So the first to the first, second to second, third to third, okay? So two will go to four. That is two times four plus one we multiply one. One times one plus then four we multiply zero. Four dot zero, okay? So notice that we are forming the second number because the first row is multiplying the second column. Now the first row, we also multiply the third column to form the third number here. So let's do that. The first we multiply the first, second we multiply the second, third we multiply the third. So two is going to multiply five now. So we have two dot five plus one we multiply zero, one dot zero plus four we multiply three, four dot three. Okay, yeah. So I believe we have we are all on the same page. Now we are going to. Start with the second row this time. Because you have used the first row to multiply the first column to get the first number, use it to multiply the second column to get the second number, use it to multiply the third column to get the third number, okay? Because we have done that already, we are true with the first row. 
it doesn't have any other thing to multiply here. So we are going over to the second row. And once we go over to this second row, that means we are starting our second row here as well. So we are going to start here. So we are still going to use the second row to multiply the first column to form the first number. We are going to use it again to multiply the second column to form the second number. We are still going to use it again to multiply the third column to form the third number. Okay? So 3 we multiply 3 now. 3.3 plus 0 we multiply 2. 0 0.2 plus 2 we multiply 1. 2.1. Okay? So we are through with the first row and the first column. So we have formed the first number. Now let's go ahead to use the second, sorry, the second row and the first column. So let's go ahead and use the second row and second column to form the second number here. So it's going to be 3, we multiply 4. So 3.4 plus 0, we multiply 1, 0.1 plus 2, we multiply 0, 2.0. Okay? Yeah. So with that, we have formed the second number. Don't worry, calm down, you're going to understand this and if this is the first time you're coming across my channel please hit the subscription button okay and also on your notification bell because i don't want to miss you in my next class and also help me to comment like and share so that this will actually get to those students that need it for their exam okay thank you so we have used the second column second row to multiply the second column which is this so with that we are going into second row and third column to form the third number so 3, we multiply 5. We have 3.5, okay? Plus 0, we multiply 0, 0 0.0. Plus 2, we multiply 3, 2.3. All right? Yes. So let's do the same. We are through with the second row. We are now going over to the third row. Now, this third row now, as usual, we are going to use it to multiply the first column to form the first number. Use it to multiply the second column to form the second number. Use it to multiply the third column to form the third number, okay? So let's go ahead and do this. So one will multiply three, the first to first, second to second, third to third. So one will multiply three, one dot three, plus three will multiply two, three dot two, plus one will multiply one, one dot one. Okay, now we are going to use it again to multiply the second column to form the second number here. Let's do that. 1, we multiply 4. 1.4. Why doing this? Need to be careful. If not, you are going to make a mistake. You won't believe how many times I have cleaned this because I made a mistake the first time I solved it. I had to stop afresh. Okay? Be careful so that you don't make a mistake. Why picking your numbers? So 1, we multiply 4 to give you 1. Uh, that is 1 times 4. 3, we multiply 1. Plus 3.1. Plus 1, we multiply 0. 1.0. Okay, so we are through with what? The, sec the last, this one, the second row, the second column, sorry. Let's go into the third column. So one, we multiply five, one dot five, plus three, we multiply zero, three dot zero, plus one, we multiply three, one dot three. Okay, we are close to our answer right now. Okay, very close to our answer. Now, let us go ahead and solve yeah, the next matrix here. So, let's pay attention and collect everything together. So, 2 times 3 is going to give me what? 6 plus 1 times 2 will give me what? 2 plus 4 times 1 will give me what? 4. So, I'm true with this number. Let's go over to this. 2 times 4 will give me what? 8 plus 1 times 1 will give me 1 plus 4 times 0 will give me 0. Now, for here, 2 times 5 will give me 10, plus 1 times 0 is 0, plus 4 times 3 is 12. So, we are true with the first row. Let's go over to this one. 3 times 3 will give me 9, plus 0 times 2 will give me 0, plus 2 times 1 will give me 2. Now, we go over to this one. 3 times 4 will give me 12, plus 0 times 1 will give me 0, plus 2 times 0 will give me 0. So we go to this, 3 times 5 is 15, 0 times 0 is 0, 2 times 3 is 6. So for the last one, 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 1 times 1 is 1. Then for here, 1 times 4 is 4, 
three times one is three, one times zero is zero. Then for here, one times five is five, three times zero is zero, one times three is three. Okay, we are now close to our solution. Uh -uh. Let's form our final result, okay? So let's open our matrix, open the brackets, open the bracket. So six plus two is eight, eight plus four will give you 12. Eight plus one is nine plus zero is nine. 10 plus 12 will give us 22. 9 plus 2 will give us 11. 12 plus 0, 0 is 12. 15 plus 6 is 21. 3 plus 6 plus 1 is 10. 4 plus 3 is 7. 5 plus 3 is 8. And this is our long-awaited result. Don't worry, I'm going to solve the second number, a second example. That way you are going to understand it more, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, this is the second example. So how do we solve this? Just stick with me and see. This one will be faster because I believe you understood what I'm doing. So let's open our bracket first. We open our bracket and we start. So as usual, we are going to use this first. We are going to start with the first row, okay? Because we are forming the first row, the numbers that will be in the first row. Now, this first row, we multiply the first column to form the first number. It will multiply the second column to form the second number. It will multiply the third column to form the third number. Remember that when one row multiplies one column, we are just forming one number, okay? So let's go. So you are going to have one we multiply two. That is, we are now multiplying the first column using the first row. So one we multiply two, zero we multiply one, and two we multiply two. First to first, second to second, third to third, okay? So we go one times two, we give you two, right? Plus. 0 times 1, we give you 0, right? Plus 2 times 2, we give you 4. So we are through with the first row. That means we are finished forming the first number. We are now going to the second row, okay? This second row now, to form the second number. So this one, we also multiply the second column. So 1 times 1 is going to give us 1. Plus 0 times 0, we give us 0. Plus 2 times 0, we give us zero. Remember, the first we multiply, the first we multiply the first, second we multiply the second, third we multiply the third. Okay, this is what we have done. So this first row again, we are not going to throw away this last column now. No, we are still going to use it to multiply the last column to form the third number here. Okay, all right, let's do that. One multiply two. That is one times two. We give us what two plus. 0 times 2, we give us 0, plus 2 times 1, we give us 2. So like this, we are true with the first row, because we have used it to multiply the first column to get this, multiply the second column to get this, multiply the third column to get this. So we go over to the second row. So once we go over to the second row, we're also going over to the second row of our new matrix. So we are starting here now. As usual, we are going to use the second row to multiply the first column to form the first number. We will use it again to multiply the second column to form the second number. We use it again to multiply the third column to form the third number. Okay? So let's do that. One, we multiply two. We are now multiplying the first column. One times two is going to give us two plus. Two times one is still give us two plus. Four times two will give us eight. So we are through with first row first column. Sorry, second row, first column. Now, look, this second row now, the second row, we also multiply the second column to, go, to give us the number that will be here. Okay, let's do that. So, 1 times 1, we give us 1 plus 2 times 0, we give us 0 plus 4 times 0, we give us 0. So, this, uh, we have used this to multiply this now. We are going to use it again to multiply the third column to get the third number here, okay? So one times two, we give us two, plus two times two, we give us four, plus four times one, we give us four. Okay, at this point, we are true with the second row because we have used it to multiply this to get this, this to get this, and this to get this. So we don't have any other column to multiply. We're not going to go over to the third column. 
So we are still going to use the third column here. So once we enter the third column, we also enter the third column in our matrix, the new one we are forming. So we are still going to use this third column to multiply the first, sorry, this third row to multiply the first column, the second column, and the third column to form the first number, the second number, and the third number, respectively. So let's do that. Three, we, we are now multiplying the first column, okay? So three times two is going to give us six plus three times one will give us three plus two times two will give us four. We are true with what? The first, the third column, the first third row and the first column. So let's use it again to multiply the second column. So the first we multiply the first, the second we multiply the second, the third we multiply the third. Let's go. Three times one will give us three. Plus three times zero will give us zero. Plus two times zero will give us zero. We are true with the second column. Let's go over to the third column. So three times two will give us six. Plus three times two again will give us six. Plus two times one will give us two. So at this point, we are close to our solution. So let us go ahead and form the final matrix. Now, let me draw closer. Okay, so we have two plus four here. It's going to give us six. One plus zero, zero will give us one. Two plus two will give us four. We are through with the first row. Let's go enter the second row. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. We have 12. Now we have 1 here, only 1. And here we have 2 plus 8. It's going to give us 10. We are through with the second row. Let's go back to the third column. Six third row, sorry. 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. Now we have only 3 here. 3. And here we have 12 plus 2 to give us 14. And this becomes our final answer. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done that. Bye.